you might have a document in Word that you've got some confidential information in there or you just want to protect from prying eyes. So you want to be able to put a password on it to stop people from opening it up. A word of warning though with passwords. If you've lost them, you're going to find it very difficult to reopen these. There are bits of software around that can do that kind of thing, but not always. And, well, those little bits of software sometimes come with viruses. So please remember your passwords. Don't make anything too complicated or something that you're going to forget. Of course, if it can be complicated, just as long as you remember it. So there are two types of passwords. I'm just going to uh, start doing that. And what I need to do is save as. So if I go into File, Save As, and here's my Save As dialog box, which you're familiar with. Sorry, just getting it to fit on the screen there. And what you want to do is actually give it a title, which it's already done, top secret. It's put it in a folder that I'm going to remember called My Docs. And now I want to set my security options. And if I go into my tools up the top here, you'll see it's got security options. And if I click on that, and again, I'm just going to move that up here. But you have two options here. You have a password to open and you've got a password to modify. And the difference is, is they can't open it at all uh, without having this password here. This one here, they can open it, but open it as read-only. They would actually need the password to make any modifications to it. So first up, we're going to do one to actually just open it. So I'm just going to type in a password. I'm going to make it really nice and simple. Here you notice there's a button that says Advanced. Basically, that is the type of encryption that you've got it to basically is telling you how secure is your password and there are different levels of it and you would need to know what all of these are. Different machines can have different encryptions depending on what's been installed on there but this Office 97 slash 2000 compatible is a pretty good one so we're going to stick with that so I'm just going to click on OK. You really shouldn't have any need to change that. I'm just going to click on OK which is unfortunately just off here on the screen and like any good program, if you're putting in a password, you've got to re-enter it. So I'm just going to type in my password and click on OK. It's there. If I now hit Save, it's now saved that. OK, so let's just see what happens. I'm going to close this document here. I'm now going to open it. There it is, top secret. Just double click to open it up and it prompts me for my password. I'm going to put it in and up pops my document and I can easily make changes to it. Let's just put that back. Okay, so let's say I wanted to remove that password, the way to do it, or even to change it. I go into File, choose Save As, and again go back up to my Tools, to my Security Options. If I want to get rid of the password, I just delete it. If you want to change the password, just type in a different one. So I'm just going to click on OK again, and then Save. I'm now going to close it again, and when I reopen it, it won't prompt me for the password. So that's how you can put a password on to open and how to remove a password. There is that other one which is modifying, and again the same will apply if you want to get rid of the password. But I'm going to show you how to set it and what it does. So if we go into File again, choose Save As, go to Tools and Security Options. And this time I'm going to put a password in here. I'm going to click on OK. Again, it will prompt me again. Click on OK, hit Save. I'm just going to close it. So I can now go to Open top secret, and there's my password. If I get the password wrong, and this is the same for opening it as well, it warns me the password is incorrect. Click on OK, and you may have to try and reopen it again. If I don't know the password, or someone doesn't want to know the password, they can, unlike the one with you, where you put a password on to open, has read only. So I can do that, but I can't, well it appears as though I can make changes, but if I hit save, it'll want me to save it as a different file name. So that's the difference that it has there. I'm just going to close it. 
Say no to the changes, open it, and this time I can put in my password to make modifications. And that is passwording.